and Jared Ben are here. Hey everyone, I recently watched the season 4 finale of Game of Thrones and the season 9 finale of Supernatural, so I thought I'd give my opinions on the season finales for those two shows. If you have not seen those, or any of the episodes before the season finales, I recommend not watching this video because there may be spoilers. I'm going to start with Supernatural Season 9 Finale. I thought that the Season 9 Finale for Supernatural was really great. The whole season overall, I thought it was pretty good. When Kevin died in the middle of the season, I thought it started going downhill, but as it got closer to the finale, I really started liking the season again. It was really sad towards the end of the episode when Sam thought that Dean was dead. The way that their relationship was ever since Kevin's death, wasn't that great and then to see Sam so sad after seeing Dean dead and just holding him in his arms and it was very emotional. So it got to the end and you hear Crowley talking about the, the mark of Cain. In the season ending with Dean opening his eyes to reveal that he is now a demon and that he's not dead. You know, that brings up so many questions. When that happened I was like, Oh my goodness, I just couldn't believe that. I didn't expect that to happen at all. What's Sam and Dean's relationship going to be like? And what's going to happen with Castiel? How his grace is running out. At first, it seemed like you know, Dean was dead. Well, I didn't think there was going to be a season 10, but now they have to have a season 10 with the way that Dean is. The Game of Thrones season 4 finale, so much happened in that one season. With the whole thing with Tyrion's life on the line, with Prince Oberyn fighting the mountain. The result of that match really pissed me off because Tyrion is one of my favorite characters and see Prince Oberyn lose because he had the mountain if he would have just shut his mouth and double tapped like speared him in the head or something. And then to go into episode 9 of the season and to just have a whole episode which I mean the episode was really great at all with Jon Snow on the wall but to have the entire episode with that and not even to show a thing what was going to happen with Tyrion. It just kept my anticipation with that, just waiting to see what was going to happen with Tyrion. <laughs> then you, we get to episode 10 and then that stuff with Tyrion doesn't happen until the end. But the whole episode was really sweet, like that fight with Brienne, uh, the Hound. You know, I never realized how huge Brienne was compared to the, the Hound until they actually like, faced each other. It, it's kind of emotional after the Hound had fell and with his bones sticking out. And, the Hound kept up telling Arya to kill him, and then Arya wouldn't. Stood there and processed the whole thing. And it was really sad with Daenerys having to chain up her dragons, and then them having to burn all the crows that died. Well, that was really sad when Jon Snow burned Egret, how he cried while she was being burned. I thought that was really, really nice of Jaime to, to set Tyrion free. Once he started going to, to where he saw Shay, and like just. From that moment on, like in my mind, back of my mind, I'm like, what are you doing? Just leave. Leave. It would have almost been like, if, if Tyrion would have, would have got caught, I would have been pissed off just like how I was with Prince Over and losing to the mountain because, you know, he had the opportunity to be free. But then I did not expect him to kill Shay or Tywin. You know, I was shocked when he killed Shay, but when he killed Tywin, I was like, oh my goodness. Like, I just couldn't believe it. And it makes me wonder where. Tyrion's gonna go. I do read the Game of Thrones books in book three before season four came out, and so I, I stopped reading so that way I wouldn't get my facts mixed up, so I'm looking forward to reading it again. 